Kevin and Hell, Angelica. Zambrano Testimony. My name is Angelica Elizabeth Zambrano Mora. I am 18 and study at the Colegio Jose Maria. Glasgow Ibarra, here at El Canton, El Empalm, Ecuador. I first accepted Christ when I was 12, but I told myself none of my friends were evangelicals and I felt strange amongst them, so I walked away from God and lived a bad, terrible life. But God pulled me out of there. On my 15th birthday, I was reconciled to the Lord, but I was still double-minded. The Bible says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, James 1, 8, and first was one of those persons. My dad would say, you don't have to be like that, it looks awful, it's wrong. But I would reply, this is the way I am, and how I want to be, nobody has to tell me how I should be, nor what I should do, nor how I should dress, or behave. He would respond, God is going to deal with you. He is going to change you. During my 17th birthday, I came closer to the Lord. On April 28th I came to him and said, Lord, I feel so bad, I know that I'm a sinner, and I told him how I felt. Lord, forgive me. I want you to write my name in the book of life and to accept me as your child. I repented and gave back my life to the Lord. I said, Lord, I want you to change me, to make a difference in me. I cried with all my heart asking the Lord to change me. But, as time passed by I felt no change. The only difference was that I began to attend church, to read the Bible and to pray. That was the only change in my life. Then, in August, I was invited to fast for 15 days. I decided to join, but before entering I said, Lord, I want you to deal with me here. During the fast, the Lord was speaking to almost everybody, except me. It was as if the Lord had not seen me, and that hurt. I would pray, Lord, aren't you going to deal with me? I would cry alone and continue, Lord, do you love me? Are you here? Are you with me? Why don't you speak to me like you do to everyone else? You speak so many things to other people, even words of prophecy, but not me. I asked for a sign that he was with me, and the Lord gave me Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. I said, Lord, did you just talk to me? Because I heard his audible voice and had a vision of the words written in Jeremiah 33, 3. I said, Lord, is that for me? I kept it to myself, while everyone else was testifying what the Lord had given them and what they had seen. But I kept it secret and would only meditate on the words, call unto me, means to pray, but what did great and mighty things mean? I thought, this can only mean heaven and hell. So I said, Lord, I only want you to show me heaven, but not hell, because I'll heard that it is a horrible place. But I then prayed with all my heart, Lord if it is your will to show me what you must, then do so, but change me first. I want you to make a difference in me, I want to be different. When we finished fasting, there were trials and difficulties and sometimes I felt faint, unable to continue walking with the Lord. But he gave me strength. I started to hear his voice and know him better. We became good friends. The Lord is our best friend, the Holy Spirit. I told him, Lord, you are my best friend. I want to know you better, and shared all my thoughts with him. I prayed during all of August and then in November, a servant of the Lord came to our house and said, May the Lord bless you. I replied, Amen. He then said, El am here to bring you a message from God, dot you must prepare yourself, because the Lord will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. He is going to show you heaven and hell because you have been asking, from Jeremiah 33, 3, last, yes, how did you know? I haven't told that to anyone. He responded, the same God that you serve and praise, that very same God I also praise told me everything. Soon we began to pray. Some sisters from our church and others from my family were there with us praying. But as soon as we started praying, I began to see the heavens opened. So I said, I see the heavens are opening, and two angels are coming down. The man said, ask them why they are here. Thanks for watching, see you in our next video. Don't forget to leave a comment so we know what you think about the video.